again at Fab Locker. Now we're going to assemble a heater core. I've already done one half of it, so we'll go ahead and show you how to do the other half. Um, when you get your kit, you'll hit these right here in the same container as your heater core. These are the ones that you're going to sacrifice to clip to your nickel chrome. So you're going to take your crimps and you're going to cut that end off right there. Like that. Because the nickel chrome doesn't have insulation that you're going to connect to. You're then going to, this is little bitty work, you're then going to slide the nickel chrome inside and about a millimeter, maybe two away from the end is where you're going to crimp it. So the way I'd usually do it is stick this in my offhand. You know, get your needle nose pliers out. You don't want to use a long needle nose. You want short needle nose. So you got to get some pressure here. What you do is you just fold one side over. Pinch it down really good. Nickel chrome can be some really hard stuff to get a hold of. So you do need to pinch the heck out of it. Okay, there we go. Now it's connected good. You then take, you don't want that much sticking out. Take a little bit off. And you fold this back against the middle. Okay. So now with this one, you want to take one of your male header pins right here. It. Now with this one, if you can see it really well, first thing you want to do is take under your nose pliers and get the metal on the front. So you bend one. I think they got a little too much metal there. You want just enough metal sticking out the end that the front crimps grab metal. I don't think I'll strip that one, so we're going to make this one a little bit shorter. Now one thing you'll notice with um, the PTFE wire is that it is really hard to strip. You can't use a normal stripper on it. So it just will not strip. It's it's way too slippery. So you just take razor. Okay. Make sure all the PTFE is off the tip. again. That was the one I was starting with. gives you one extra so you can mess up. So you pick in there and first you want to pinch the wire side. So pinch one side down and then grab the other side and bring it over.
this side over. This side over that one. You can tell I'm not the best person in the world with this. There you go. See, that's the reason it gives you an extra. Because you might goof it. So, take two. to your insulation and that one on top of it there we go that's a nice crap take it off okay then you take your other half which is here where you had that one before slide your metal inside the hole of your wire, slide all the way in. You want enough that it comes out the other side a little bit. So we'll get, ah, that's probably enough. Stick it in. Crimp really hard. Nice and tight. You then fold the whole thing back on itself. Grab your washer. You will feed these two in under the washer. One thing you might really want to do at this point, just to make sure everything's kosher, is get out your own meter. Make sure resistance is right. Everything's got a good connection. between 5.5 and 6.5 a little high, 7 7 works you can now grab your cement you want these to be right up Inside the heater core. If your cement is a little too thick or a little too thin, or if it's a little too thick, then you can just go in the um, go kit and put one drop of water in there. We usually make it thin enough. So stab it. Don't 
froth it up. Take your cement. You want to be to put enough cement to protect it, but don't go crazy with it. So you do want to make sure to get all the way around and underneath the PTFE wires. cover all the wire or all the metal that's exposed and all the nickel chrome that's exposed. These tend to last forever so try to make them as pretty as possible because you're probably going to be dealing this hot in for a very long time. I haven't put one of these together in six, seven months besides for new builds. So I haven't had that. I don't think I replaced one because it broke ever. Or at least I think I did it one time. That's because I broke it myself. Very tough little things. Okay. About right, you're going to let this sit for. I generally let it sit for a few hours to get nice and dry before I cook them. I'll pull up the power supply and I'll show you what it's like to cook them. Oh, let's get the bottom. Okay, there you go, there we go, let it dry.